What's up, what's up, incredible people? I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so thankful to have you on the Have You Heard podcast where faith comes by hearing, that is hearing the word about Christ. My name is Emma Mae McDaniel and I have loved this series that we're in. If you are new to the podcast, we are currently in a series called You Are and it's based off of my book, Yeep, that's coming out June 28th. And it's called You Are, Realizing Who You Are Because of Who God Is. How cool is it that when we know our maker and when we're walking with our maker, we have confidence and we discover clarity about who it is that we are and what it is we were made to do. And so we're going to put the link down below so that you can pre-order that book. And today in our series of You Are, we are talking specifically about how you are made for freedom. And guys, not only is this podcast going to be so rich and so deep, but it's also going to be fun because I have kind of a weird story to share with you. But yeah, let's get into it. Guys, faith comes by hearing. So grab your headphones and let's get into the word. So this weird story is honestly one of my favorite stories because I think it's so cool how when we're going about our day-to-day life and things happen that are seem so simple or may seem random and then through those things the Lord reveals his heart to you and he points you to his word and he strengthens your faith and you're encouraged to go help others experience the joy of their faith like it's it's like That's what happened with this story I'm about to tell you. So I was in my garage and there was a bird in the garage. Our garage doors were closed so the bird was stuck and the bird was trying to get out because we had this little window in our garage so you could see outside through it and so the bird kept like flying into the window and it was so sad because he couldn't get out and so I opened up our garage doors and our garage doors were like huge like there was such a wide open space for this bird to fly through and then be out in the beautiful creation go about its business But guys, even after I opened up this huge garage door, the bird continued to fly into the window. It was so sad. I was literally standing outside of the garage and I was like, like you can do it, like come this way. And my dad eventually had to like get gloves on and help the bird and navigate the bird towards the big garage door so it could finally fly free. And I think what's so crazy, the way that I was encouraged in the Lord through this story is stick with me here. I really thought like, wow, how often am I and how often are so many people, like honestly all people like the bird where we feel like we're stuck. We feel like we're stuck in our thought patterns of worry and fear. We fear, we feel as though we are stuck And we keep flying into the same habits, the same addictions, the same patterns that only leave us feeling more ashamed and only leave us feeling more confused and only leave us feeling just more, more grieved and heavy and burdened. And, and not only that, but kind of like the bird, we are full of energy. Like that bird was with every fiber in its being trying to get out of that garage and I mean thought that the window was its way and I feel like in the same way we are using all of our energy but just in the wrong direction the bird literally could have just turned just a little bit and then had a full garage door to get out yet it was still trying to get through this little baby window and it was using all of its might that that was the route And I think a lot of us do that. We are so passionate and so energized in the direction we're going, craving freedom, craving relief from the bondage of of our habits and our sin patterns and our thought processes that just are not of God. But our energy and our our the effort that we're putting in, it's in the wrong state. Thing. It's in the wrong direction. And also, like the bird, we're craving freedom, but we have complete access to that freedom. It's like we're craving what we already have total access to. Like we're wanting life and life abundant. We're wanting freedom. We're wanting to walk in the life that God has called us to walk. We're craving peace and joy and clarity and confidence and hope. 
we're longing for these things and we're putting so much effort and so much energy into finding these things, yet we're still being left hopeless. We're still being left confused. We're still being left depressed. We're still being left insecure. And we're still being left burdened because we're looking for all the things we have complete access to and all the things that we were actually made for, but in the wrong place. And I hope that that brings so much encouragement to you that you were made for freedom. And you, were, you as every human, is seeking freedom. And not only that, you have complete access to it. But the question is, will we run in its direction? I have three encouragements for you guys. Friends, I am so excited to tell you about this super awesome paid sponsorship that I'm getting to do with Faithful Counseling. Speaking from personal experience, I really believe that counseling is a means by which we can learn to live out the freedom that we already have in Christ. Through counseling, I was able to process things out, identify the lies that I was believing, and replace them with the truth that comes from the Word of God. I want to encourage you, friend, that you were not made to go about life alone. Faithful Counseling is a worldwide online available counseling service that is convenient and accessible via instant messaging, phone calls, or video chat. And through Faithful Counseling, you actually can meet with professional licensed counselors who have three over 3,000 hours of practice in their respective state. And using the link that is provided below, you can get 10% off of your first month of counseling. And that link is faithfulcounseling.com slash MMA slash. But again, that link is provided below. And again, I want to encourage you that you were made to walk in freedom. You are not designed to operate from a place of shame. And there are people who are willing and able to walk alongside you to help you experience this reality for yourself. Did you know that 90% of Americans consume more than the USDA's daily recommended added sugar intake, which is 30 grams? Sweetened beverages, like soda, are the leading source of added sugars in American diet. Of added sugars in the American diet. Well, I have exciting news for you. Olipop is the new soda with so many flavors like cherry vanilla, classic root beer, and vintage cola. Olipop is made with national, national. Olipop is made with natural ingredients that are actually good for you. All of their products are non-GMO, paleo, vegan, and keto friendly with less than eight grams of net carbs per can. And you can receive 20% and you can receive 20% off plus free shipping on your order. I recommend trying their variety pack. This is a great way to try all of their delicious flavors. And you can go to drinkolipop.com slash MMA or use the code MMA at checkout to claim this awesome deal. That's D-R-I-N-K-O-L-I-P-O-P.com slash MMA. Olipop can also be found in over 8,000 stores across the country, including Kroger, Target, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Wegmans. The first is stop wasting your energy looking for freedom in every place other than Christ. If the sun sets you free, you are free indeed. It is through Christ and Christ alone that we find freedom. What I love is that it, it, like, it is because God so loved the world that he gave his own one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. We are running into this. We're flying into this narrow little window whenever God has made, his arms are wide open and he has made a relationship with him totally available to us through his son Jesus. His son Jesus is this big garage door that we all have access to, but the question is, will we run in that direction? You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. What I love about this verse is many different things, but one thing is that before the truth sets you free, you first have to know the truth. So number two, what I want to share with you is that the first step toward freedom is having the awareness that we're stuck. God wants you to be free. Like for me to first walk in freedom, I have to first acknowledge that I am in bondage, that I am stuck, 
that I'm going in the wrong direction. I can't start going in the right direction until I acknowledge that I'm going in the wrong one. (laughs) There is so much freedom in that. And in that, there is repentance. In that, there is awareness of, wait, I can't do this life on my own. I can't find freedom on my own. It is through knowing the truth. And who is the truth? It is Jesus. He says, he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. And no one comes to the Father. Nobody wakes that makes their way out of the garage except through Jesus. And whenever we first take that step of awareness, that, wait, I'm stuck. Wait, I'm in bondage. I am craving freedom, but everything I'm trying on my own, everything the world is offering me, it just isn't cutting it. And however long it took me to get here, I am thankful that I'm now here and my eyes are open that this isn't working. And it is through calling upon the name of Jesus that we can have freedom. But it first takes an awareness of, I need him. I need help because I can't get out of this garage on my own. I can't get out of this ha- these habits and these patterns on my own. God wants you to be free. And number three, I hope this is so encouraging to you. The garage of habits and patterns and mindsets, it's not where you have to stay. Just because whether it's been a season that you've been walking in this sin or a lifetime that you've been walking in these patterns of worry and fear, and shame. You don't have to stay there. I want to encourage you in these scriptures. I just want to read the word of God over you. Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. 2 Corinthians 3.17. Now the Lord is the spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Psalm 119.45, I will walk in freedom for I have devoted myself to your commandments. In Psalm 118.5, in my distress, I prayed to the Lord and the Lord answered me and he set me free. You know what I hear when I read this? That it is in Christ and Christ alone that we find freedom. That God wants us to be free. How powerful is this? Friends, this, I hope that this just brings you so much encouragement that the route that you're going of habits and mindsets and patterns that are just leaving you filled with shame and filled with fear and wrapped up in confusion, not only is it not what God has for you, but it's not where you have to stay. So I encourage you as Psalm 118, 5 says, In my distress I prayed to the Lord and the Lord answered me and set me free. Call upon the name of Jesus. And I want to encourage you too that if you have called upon the name of Jesus and you are a child of God through Him and Him alone, I want to encourage you in Galatians 5.1 that it is for freedom that Christ has set you free. So stand firm. I think a lot of us are completely free in Christ. We, we're already out of the garage. Yet, like we're out in the wide open space, blue sky, the, the full life and life of abundance that we have in Christ and Christ alone, but we're living as though we're still in the garage. We're living as though chains and shackles are still on our wrists and on our ankles, and we're not moving in the beautiful lane that the Lord has called us to run in because we're still living as though we're, we're in bondage. So stand firm then. And do not let yourselves be yoked again by a burden of slavery. How encouraging. You are made for freedom. And through Christ, you have complete access to that freedom to live a life of peace and joy and hope that you were longing for and that you were made for. Guys, I love y'all so, so much. Again, this is just one chapter out of you are realizing who you are because of who God is. You'll notice that no matter what topic we discuss about our identity, we always go to God's word and who he is because it is through knowing him and walking with him that we can have confidence in who we are and clarity about what we are made for. I pray that all of us will be like a bird that realizes the garage door is wide open and we run through it and discover the incredible life that the Lord has called for us to live and that we can only live through Him. 
If y'all are watching on YouTube, be sure and give a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below how you were encouraged. And if you are um, listening via Apple or Spotify, be sure and download, rate, review, share it with your people. Be sure and go pre-order you are and follow us on Instagram at the Have You Heard Podcast. I love y'all so much and I pray that this series is blessing you richly.